Right, I am coffeeed, I have weed, it is time to start. So we are continuing the journeys of Punch Beth. And I've got to remember what I was doing next. Oh yeah, I was heading towards Vendrick, wasn't I? So, we had this script. Because I'd found the doorway to Vendrick and I the shortcut. I actually got to him. Right, come on you. There. And then we had... You're not friendly. will drop the shields. I've played this game so many times and I've almost never seen those shields drop. Kill the next caster. Oh no. Just don't let her cast. Yeah, yeah, don't produce light, you've already said. Right, so... I was looking for the other rays here, because there's one in there somewhere. That you can light, and it lights up the rest of them, but I don't know where they've put it. I remember where it was. In base game, I can't remember where it is in Scholar. Bad ghost. Get up here, is the one up here somewhere? No, it doesn't appear to be one up here anywhere. Maybe it's on the other side after the uh after the shortcut. Is there anything down this way? Door doesn't look like it. <laughs> but there is something down there, because somebody's handily put a message down there. Let's see if we can drop down without any trouble. Oh, close. Almost fucked it. And light. Now this should light the rest of them. Let's do something. There we go. This has caused all those to spawn. But he gives us Twinkling Titanite, which I am happy with. So, let's get back in power stance first, shall we? Ah, there you go. So you can see the braziers and all the creepy statues now. 
also means so we can't backstab this guy don't it just search the red in there Here we have the chest. What do you have? So that's all. We'll not be using that. And a ladder. Now where do you go? Up, 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 up. Good night, um. Soul of a hero. This leads to a bonfire that I probably should have seen before. Yep. So now we're going to have to do a big run. Find the rest of those red spirits. So we got. Also got that long fire there that I've not found yet. Not sure where that is. Hi, Brendan. Yeah, super rare armor set. For my punch build. So I've just lit the braziers in this place. Time to go and kill all the red spirits. Like this dig. That is not very useful. There's a bunch of places I've forgotten about in this game. So I'm trying to find where the other stupid stuff is. Let's take you out. Hey, a torch. More red spirits in here as well. Nice long combo. This is the bit where I realise I made a mistake lighting those torches. And I'm just going to get my ass handed to me by everything. Right, you first. And you. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 takes a bit of getting used to. I don't tell anybody what I do actually prefer it to Dark Souls 1. As much as 
I like playing Dark Souls 1, I prefer Dark Souls 2. I get the choice. Right then. Greg. Right. Time to get this caster and his little body. Caster first, I think. Do a bit of dodging, shall we? Because I've lit the thing, are all these guys in here going to get angry at me? Let's see. Human no, no, he's still good. So yeah, now you have all these braziers lit and... Wait! You can see all the creepy statues and stuff in the distance. There's two of them. Ow. Where was the other one? I got baited then. like a royal wizard or something like that if I remember right and yeah he just invades all over Please, I know. Navlan, that's what he's called. I just remembered. Royal Sorcerer Navlan. The moment you free him, he starts invading all yeah. over the place. Like Which I'm going to do. Just because it'd be fun. Right, so. There's one up there. Dig. 
but I did get hit by another bolt from behind. So is there one over here somewhere? Or are you just gonna come to this edge? I do love stagger. Ah yeah, there's one down there, isn't there? On player setting. Just those ones taken care of. No other ghost. Or not. Pick. Didn't think you'd be able to knock us off. Shall we? Before it gets too low. We. You first. Open. Yay, he dropped one of his shields. You can actually use those shields as weapons as well, the same way he does. I don't know, there's a summon sign there. Oh no, it was there when I first came in, wasn't it? No sorcery, no pyromancy, no nothing. But then, um, head through this bit. Hello, goodbye. Got the guy down the bottom. Got the guy that was on Miyazaki, the Miyazaki, please no more swamps in Elden Ring. <sighs> it's already a swamp. I've seen a screenshot of it. Right, so the bell isn't too much trouble anymore because I've broken all the things. So I'm just going to look for red spirits in here now and skeletons. Quite killy. The Dark Souls. Yeah, they did an interview. Like Alex was talking about it yesterday, where they did an interview with Miyazaki, and they were expecting like uh, him to only reduce, like reveal certain game details, and it seemed like he was just answering any question people asked him. And the name of the town, Kelly, is Flanvaya po Wingi Gogeru Windrobo Lantasilio Gogogo. So yeah, you're gonna get your uh, your swamps on, Greg. It's been confirmed. Come on, come down here. There. Spirits. That sounds like one. 
from my bed behind me. Uh, my pillow off my chair and a bag. Nothing for you. Hi, Sherry. Uh, um, that way is progress. This was the secret door. Any more red spirits? We've got more ghosts. Punch the ghost. Yeah, Miyazaki, like, they asked him a bunch of questions and it seemed like he was just answering everything. But he didn't seem to care about re revealing details. So he said how many bosses there are, like, how many zones there are and things like that. Oh, it's still alive. You've not killed it yet. You might need to change it to desktop view, Kelly. Otherwise it might not let you. So we've got this asshole along here. And you can ring the bell, but it doesn't do anything there. <gasps> if only you were affiliate, Sherry, she might. More bell ringing dudes. Here we've got dead end. Over dead end. Another bell. So we've got the bit that's lit up over there. Oh, I've got this bit. This bit leads us back out to where we were supposed to be going. There you go, bonfire ascetic. Or ascetic. I can't remember how you're supposed to say it. So a lot was down to this one. Dark this Souls D's nuts. No, Sherry. No. Not even trying with that one. No, that's a lie. Right, so we have... Boss fog all the way down there. Doesn't look like there's any red phantoms in this one. Oh! Where is this next door? You are not ringing that bell. And then there's another one. There. Did the third one actually pop up in here? I can't remember. Yes, he did. And that should be the building just sorted. Don't think they added a fourth. No, oh, this is quite definitely not a family unfriendly stream. It is set to above 18 and everything. Don't give up skeleton. So here we have knights and a dragon rider. Knights are no problem. Now we've got Dragon Rider to take care of. Skeleton, skeleton. Oh, another red spirit. Hiding down the side. 
Hello there. No casting for you. Yeah, Vendrick is down that way. So I've got to take out his buddy first. There's nothing here. Is there any red spirits hiding down this way? Nope, Dragon Rider it is then. Dragon Rider and then a boss. Killed like five of these dudes so far. Same rules as the pursuer, stay on his shield side. Dragon Rider taken care of. Good chest. You are a good chest. Mom, be something good. Poison throwing knives. Yeah. See, it won't be long now before Sherry streams Dark Souls. We're all just waiting for it. I might even put a counter in the Discord. <laughs> Another fragrant ranch. How many have we got of those now? Two. I gotta remember where the other places are to use them. But now it is boss time. I'm not gonna need those. Gonna you or you. This is gonna be a pure punch fight. This is Velstadt. He's also got one of the coolest looking weapons in this game. I just love the idea behind it. A giant ass mace. That is also a bell. You just hear it go like long as he hits the floor. Ow! Yeah, that didn't last long. But I'm doing a fair bit of damage to him, so. Will not take long to get back there. Can I juke my way past these? It's because you smell. That's why it's not working. things I can definitely carry. Bye. Human. 
Yeah, don't produce light. Yada yada yada, I've heard you. So all the red phantoms are dead. <laughs> so now it is just a run down here. I wonder if I can juke the dragon rider. I've never tried it before. Oh no, the dragon rider is not there, is it? It's just the two knights. So you go, that's why you kill the bell ringer. It makes all these ghosts appear. Get all those spells going off behind me. Quick, into the boss fight. You've seen army following me. That clown bell starts, go. side of his leg. And yeah, it is Beth. We are still playing as Punch Beth. All these guys try and come into the boss room now. Yo. Wait, you're supposed to get back stuff. There. Green Blossom. See all the ghosts wandering back. But we'll take this other knight out. Just in case he decides to follow me. Small but mighty biff. Yeah, unfortunately she is working late tonight as well. Otherwise I'd be annoying her in chat. Hey look, it's the king! The naked king. won't even talk to us. Come on, talk to me. And he's just left all these clothes here. King's ring. Nothing happened. So now I have the symbol of the king. to go and work out where to use it. Who it is? This ring is the symbol of the king. Use it to gain passage through the king's gate. Ah, uh -huh. king's Adventure gate. to the far east. Bearer of the curse. If you are to be the next monarch, then one day you will walk those grounds. Without really knowing why. Mm -hmm. So she's basically saying one day we'll end up like that dude down there. Got anything else to say? No? 
Right, back to the bonfire we go then. Uh, where's my homeward boat? It's there. So, there are a couple of places we can use this king's ring. There's in... Um, so there's Grand Lake Castle. There's one in the woods. In Forest of the Fallen Giants as well. Have a look. Dump some items. <clears throat> Maybe you should buy your own. Right. All these souls away. And Valstar has a black soul. Crushed eye orb, invade the world of a traitor. Slow vessels, moon silky stones. Oh yeah, we were going to upgrade Avalyn, weren't we? Um, <laughs> don't need you. Still need the King's Ring. It's all my paramount, so you don't need the arrows because I'm picking a bow. Right. You You've been well. Do you sell chunks? You do, you sell all of them. Perfect. No interest. Time to upgrade Avalyn. So I need chunks. I'll be around. Buy four first, shall we? Visit me again. Yeah, I still wear my teddy socks. What? Uh, so we need one more I'll chunk. Fully upgraded. Ten, 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 ten. They're all at plus five. <laughs> Should get bigger feet then, shouldn't we? So heavy crossbow can go away. Now we've got the avalanche, and that thing is ridiculous. Now we've got a rapid fire crossbow. Do I have enough for a level? Yeah. Probably enough for two actually. I've got a massive soul in there. It looks round a big soul to this one. Twenty thousand. Strength, we've got our decks. Now we need places we can use. Uh, yeah, places we can use. 
ring. This king's ring. So we've got the first area. Bye, Kelly. Down here. Because I always kill the dude outside this door at the start of the game. Boom, boom, boom. So we go down the ladder. We punish this guy. He drops an item. Now you've got up, so we punch you. This guy hiding on the floor. And now we have a king's door. And I've got the ring for it and everything. Open, says me. This is one of the bonfires I was missing. So. Yeah, that's the fourth bonfire there. Um, where else am I missing a bonfire? Maybe one at the castle. Right, let's see what's actually in here then. Got a tree. Can't do anything with the tree yet. Then we have this bit down here. Open the items. It's a lie. This item here. Crimson Titan and a fragrant branch. Cool, we got three fragrant branches. And I can't remember where to use them. Right, so I can't do anything with that yet. So the next one was. Shaded Woods. I believe. Shaded woods. And there's one in the castle as well. So we'll do shaded woods first. If I can remember where it is. to go through here. Go to the fork. I think it's left. I can't remember which way I went. I think it's left to get to the door. But even if it isn't, you get to see the janky run on these guys again. Come on, do your Michael Jackson run. Yeah. Just moonwalks towards it. Ah yeah, I remember now. So the door in the castle, I want to do as late as possible. Get all the fun stuff. So I'm pretty sure 
pretty sure this is the right way. Hey, look at the sneaky knot player. When you. I know I can't lock on, but still. They were the sneakiest addition to this game. Everybody so used to seeing them run round near bonfires and stuff. Even in the first one. And then suddenly in this game they turn around and stab you in the back. Alright, that's the DLC shrine which we'll be doing not much later after this to be honest. After I've done these next couple of areas it's all DLC. And then we'll be doing the final boss, so... Hi Maeve! How are you doing? I'm currently punching my way through the game. I'm alright. Had a nice... chill day at work. I spent most of it in meetings and stuff. So now I'm just relaxing, punching some things in the face. So we've got rain. This leads to the castle. This is the wrong way. Ah, no. No need for aircon. I have a quite powerful little fan that I use. Pretty cool, it's like that big, but it sounds like a jet engine when I've got it on full, it's that powerful. So yeah, this was the wrong way. But yeah, that fan is like one of the best things I ever bought. It looks like it should be a, a case fan for a PC as well, that's the kind of shape it is. So you were DLC area. Uh, I think so. No, not the one that you've got, Beth. You've got the uh, the weird one that uh, Thingy has, don't you? That Debs has. Mine's like a little, tiny little box fan. Going out for sushi, that sounds like a great idea. It has been ages since I've had sushi. Like proper sushi. Oh, it's these evil little monkeys. Tell you what, I have rapid fire crossbow now, let's get you. Beth, there's, um, you can get sushi in Tesco that's like ready-made stuff and it's okay but real proper freshly made sushi is like a million times better. But if you do ever get the chance to try it, try some. first time I had it was when I was in Manchester and it was at in Selfridges of all places they used to have a sushi bar in the bottom of it but me and a friend went there and tried out the sushi and I loved it so I kept I got some more This is the king's door I was looking for. Right. I reckon I know where this is as well. King's ring. Bew, 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 bew.
Here we go. All the keep. Bye, Beth. Have fun. Be wary of message. Message. More messages. So here is Aldia's keep. Aldia was the king's brother, and Aldia was an asshole of the highest proportions. So, get rid of the dogs. So he was convinced, like Aldia was convinced, they could make themselves immortal like the old dragons. So they would literally kidnap people and animals and experiment on them using dragon bones and dragon scales to try and make themselves and the animals and stuff immortal. And pretty much every horrible monster you meet in Dark Souls 2, like those little dog things that poison and petrify you, like the, the big ogres, Kittens, bastard. Uh, like the big ogres, like the giant basilisk, all that kind of stuff. Aldia's fault. He made them all, they're all like side experiments and shit. He was a mad evil bastard. Right, at least I know it's straight ahead. So these weird little monkey dog things. Is the ogre still here? So this big ogre bastard. All of them, all the fault. He created the ship. Is it locks you into the animation. You really make sure not to be able to. But yeah, once we actually get into Alvia's keep proper, you'll be able to see all the crazy stuff that he made. See you later, Maeve. Have fun going out to eat. Right back into Aldi's keep, so... I'm sure that little hut has a bonfire in it. Need to take these bastards out first. Oh, missed. You can actually see these things right at the beginning of the game as well. In the very, very first area before you even make your character, there's a couple of these things running around. You can even aggro them and just get horribly murdered at the beginning of the game as well. Right. No fear. No walls are there. Got you. Now, what do you have for me? Malformed skull on a dark mask. Oh yeah, check that out. And the malformed skull was a weapon. Skull of some unidentified creature swing as a great hammer to use as a weapon. Possibly the skull of a dragon. Oh yeah, check that out. Is the bonfire in here? Did I remember correctly? 
I did. Bonfire's lit. Is there anything down this side? There's the door I came in. There's an item sneakily over here. Fire seed. Ah, oh, Paramount is up full anyway. Ready. Nothing. Oh, there is an item here. We must grab everything or all items. Try magic and then victory ahead. Oh, look. I don't know how to say the name as Latiel. It's Lucatiel's brother. Poor Lucatiel who is slowly going home. There we go. You're not so tall. As Latiel of Mira has been banished. Now we get a human effigy for it. So here we have a torch. We got suspiciously rattling. Is it called a wagon? Trailer? Yeah. Missing its horse though. Here we have another one. A great big dragon skeleton. Got fading soul. This thing is cool. It's like it was trying to crawl its way out. Don't you dare. So what have we got in here? Oh. He is where he is. Well, you're nicely hollowed, aren't you? Are you tormented by memories? Burdened by guilt? Now the question, are you... This? This contains my power. What are you giving me? Long ago, this naive vessel of mine set about devising new spells. This is the, the guy Greg was on about. Bringing new forms of magic into the world. But instead, he created me. Mostly by chance, but he did a fine job, I must say. What he sought was strength, and so I decided to demonstrate. While my vessel slept, I'd find my mark and hunt him down. And so while I slept, he sealed the both of us away. No, I don't have anything against humans. But how is it that you go about defining good and evil? I'm only using what the gods gave me. How can that be so wrong? So what say you to a spot of murder on my behalf? If you don't, I'll leave this place and take more lives. Many more. I couldn't give a fig either way, so what's your choice? So this is Royal Sorcerer Navlan. What he did is he tried to make new spells and went and got himself possessed. And now whatever it is is possessing him is every time he goes to sleep that thing goes off and assassinates stuff. And it's pretty powerful. So what he did was one day while he was awake he went and trapped himself in here to stop him and it getting out. Yes, I said no. yes, of course. Forget that's what good people do. Am I right? Your feeble mind can't begin to... No, I don't have anything I can... I'm a... So, right. 
if you did. I, I said no. Yes, that's what you're feeling. If I make myself human, I think I can set him free. Let's have a look. Hello there. I haven't said anything strange, have I? There we go. Other voice. I have absolutely no intention of leaving here. Do not attempt to help me. Just please, just stay away. No, please, don't come near me. Nothing good will come of it. So this is actually Navlan now we're speaking to. Just leave me alone, please. Leave this place and leave me be, as I'd not see any harm befall you. Please. And he just wants to be left alone, so he doesn't murder everybody. However, that's not what's going to happen. I'm going to set him free. I just need to remember how... So these are all developer messages. That's why you can't rate them. So they all say, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Don't you dare. No, I'm going to do it. Be free. There he is. By the very gods. What have you done? You've really done it. You'll never escape him. So what do you sell? You sell... Astrologist set, Black Witch set, Lightning Defense Ring, got some Dragon Slayer arrows or Great Arrows, Spell Uses, Bonfire Ascetics, and some spells. So, here what we'll grab some fancy claws off him. Back to exploring. I hear twinkling. It sounds like. The twinkling for a uh, little titanite bug. But I don't know where to get to it. Now we have stairs to go up. it around this side. No, it still sounds like it's behind me. You're just fine. Let's see what you are. Great magic barrier. Ah, oh, that's a cool spell. Yeah, that twinkling sounds like it might be coming from above actually. So now we have these. Remember these guys? Can we get the Mirror Knight shield? Yeah. Uh, another thing that's Aldia's fault. Aldia trapped these guys in the in the mirror world or the shield world. This one. Yeah, can I get coming out of that one? We have Northern Ritual Band 2 and Petrified Dragon Bone. Stun locked. And there's a summon here. Who are you? Cell Sword Lewitt. Oh, it's the guy with the big two shields. Um, yeah. Chest. I should have really punched that chest first. Bright bug. So there the shield dude's dealt with. Fat 
lucky I had. Can I even get through this bit? Yeah, I can. Just being dim. We have stairs. Stairs take us to the top floor. Where you can see... Hey, look, it's one of the... The giant basilisks. It's because that is another thing that is Aldia's fault. And yeah, that cage does fuck all to hold it in. Like one, one thrash and it's free. There we go, dead. So yeah, I should show the ring that we got. So we got Northern Ritual Band plus two. Increases spell uses but reduces your HP. So not as good as it seems. So what's over this way? Praise the sun. A tiny bit of sunlight coming through. Got another. It says, oh, that's a dev message saying, don't you dare. Liar ahead. There we go. So I might try lighting those braziers then. As soon as it says, don't you dare, I'll see what they do. But first, we have some petrified people to unpetrify. Seeing as we've got three fragrant branches on us. Uh, no, no. We'll do fatty first. Get Aveline ready. actually get to me because the gap's too small. Oh well. Come down. He drops Dragon Acolyte Mask. Cheers. This. And the one that we bought was the Witch's Hat, which is that one. So we've got two dudes up here who can be released. See what you do. Do you give anything special or are you just here for decoration? You drop on fire aesthetics. What about you? Hi hey, Greg. It is time. Elizabeth Mushroom. Myself, Arix, Coramanu, <laughs> Brina underscore and Psycho Egg have a wonderful joint Discord called The Ranch. With a community that is just incredible, we help each other out, support each other and try to make it a welcoming place for you to hang out. Come check it out. Greg. Thank you for reiterating our message there. Right. Let's go and light these braziers and see what they actually do. Because I can't remember. So, you can get broken. Now, was there one in here?
use one of the many, many butterflies that I've got. So where are these braziers for lighting? So we had this one. Oh, it spawns in more dudes. Cool. And he's got a scythe. You are no match for punching. do we have we can still hear twinkling this way I just don't know how to get to it um, no I have to go up a couple of floors This floor, do we have one? Not along there, anyway. The one over here to light. There is not. I should really have a better mental map of this place by now. Just everything goes out my brain while I'm streaming. And now to the top floor. Or almost the top floor. So there should be another brazier around here somewhere to light. Oh, it was over here, wasn't it? See what this one spawns. Another dude with a scythe. down for a second time. Get anything now? Maybe? No. Then... Is that all of them? Yeah it is. Oh great, we're done. Pull the secret doorbell. That opens up here. Earl's lock stone. So look, we're gonna mimic. So this implies that Aldi had a hand in spawning these mimics. Don't think he can break out. Though. We got suspicious painting. It's a suspicious painting with a person behind. There. Did 
this ogre, however, I'm pretty sure it can break out. this dude he gives us a petrified dragon bone because that's what they did in this place they experimented with everything and just stuck bits of dragon to whatever to see if it stayed so we've got a nice bench full of horrible looking poison stuff But Dave, yeah, vandalizing everything because secrets like that one. Ferris locks down. Break the table. Break these. Break these. Yay, bonfire. Secret bonfire. And then we have this, which is all corrosive stuff. Some dogs in it. <gasps> Add another one of these to fight the scythe guy. He's fighting. We will fight the scythe guy, and then I will grab myself a drink. Alright, I've got enough points to just stagger him out of attacks. So. Big poise for big poise. him down. Now we're going to avel in these doggos. Can I open this? Can. It's worth doing, it's worth doing with a beating crossbow. What you two dealt with? Now I know this is all corrosive stuff, so... Take all this off. It's a Kappa Demon Skull. So guys are... Uh, and another Petrified Dragon Ball. Hey, we got to put our stuff back on now. Well yeah Dave, we've got everything at plus 10 now. Or everything fully upgraded. Apart from a helmet, because I'm not wearing a helmet. Anyway. I'm going to sit in the relevant safety of the bonfire room and I will be back in a second while I grab a drink and some food. But I shall see you in a second.
Right, I have a tamed drink and snack. I am good to go. Let's continue trashing the place, shall we? So. Another suspicious painting. Nobody behind that one. Big spiky man with a scorpion tail. You're gonna break out of there, aren't you? I can just tell. Come on. Trio ahead. Don't you dare. You're locked. Um. Well, great. we'll light this brazier now and see what it does. Light. Oh look. Another invader man. Oh, at risk of breaking. Got me. Sure's the worst time to heal. Ah oh well, we can skip a bunch of it seeing as we got the secret bonfire. Go human again. We can dump us some of these items as well, actually, seeing as. We're at the bonfire. Here we go. Oh, I didn't even have my rings equipped when I'm up it. That would explain things. Remember kids, rings are a massive boost. Remember to re-equip them after you've been smashing stuff. The addition of having the stone ring on. <clears throat> You're okay, Lano. I just assumed you were about having you having something to eat. Punch, punch, punch. Okay. Right. Um, what was I doing? I had this guy who was quite obviously going to break out. We had this door. Punching them all. Mimic in a cage above me. Right, this guy's going to break through here, isn't he? Now, can I not? As soon as you break that door, will you break this one? You will! Thank you. Now we get out the rapid fire crossbow. Which 
try not to get bit. It's going to kill me in it. Yeah. Oh well, it broke the door open for me at least, which is what I wanted it to. Nom nom nom. Um, no Greg, there is no boss of that type here. Falling for it. That have to be better than that. Sneakier than that, Greg. Right, so we cheesed that one because bugger it. So we've still got that one down the end there. But now we have this open. What is this? Malformed shell. One of the malformed weapons in Alias well, like Greek hammer. Uh, it's got teeth on it. Ooh, what was that? That attack has a follow up to it. Oh well. Now we have Discord. So that's what's in the little thing. Basilisk. Nope, 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 nope. Let me go. Still killed me. Yes. I thought I was going to escape that then. of making myself human and I'm out of effigies. So... we just have that stays broken open as well uh, not yet Dave I get paid in a couple of days and I am getting it then Thank you. 
No, call me. No, no. Get off. I was sure I was out of range of that. Odds. Mass Effect's the legendary collection of all three. I'm getting like four days when I get paid. Navlan as well, lovely. He's got the shotgun spell. Right, probably risking that. Fell it off into the sober first. Navlan filling the space with dark magic. Navlan. Right, he's wandered back a bit. Good. We're in punch mode. Let's get him. As long as I punch you, you can't cast, can you? See? That's how you deal with Navlan. <laughs> You punch him until he can't do anything. I'm going to give him energy for it. Sweet. Right, is this open? Locked. How do I get in here then? like a key or something that I've just not seen. Oh look. Right, so that's a boss door. See if we can't work out how to get in here yet. Maybe if I punch this one somebody will come and open it. Or something that I've missed. Tell you what, let's try. Only off chance. Yeah, 
in there. I'm just surprised she didn't come out while I was wandering around. Let's try this one. Heal break out, warning. So these things thrash around, but they just don't come out of um. <laughs> No, just pass straight through. Yeah. I'm just going to knock everything off. Crash the place and see what happens. So now we have the big scorpion looking dude. No. Nope. You do nothing. Tiny basilisk. Mimic at the end as well. The what Dark Souls demo? Final Fantasy. I might have a nausea at it. So what's it on, Dave? Is it a PlayStation or Xbox is on both? This is the room I was looking for. Bone shield. Right. So we got all these dead. Very dead. Giants over there. And then I drop down into death. Yeah, that's where the dog goes well. I can't work out how to get into that room on the right. be something they changed with Scholar and I've just can't remember. Right then. Let's go and do this obvious boss fog, shall we? Um, do I need to change any of these? Don't think so. You're a boss. It's also not what it says it is. It's a lie. Yeah, this one isn't even what it says it is, it's not even a dragon, it's a drake, because it doesn't have the four 
lakes. And all the dragons in Dark Souls have got like. are basically like made of stone. Check for your balls. Guardian Drake is dead. Did it. Wasn't even hard. Hurrah for victory. You can see there's a nice forest underneath us as well. And now one of the most confusing bits. Grab this. Dragon scale. Oh yeah, it's one of these dudes here. We shall climb in an elevator. in here some sort of tower and ta -da! this is what Greg was talking about here's where all the dragons are and this suspicious woman Magic. But she does give us this. Infinite Homeward Bone. Yeah, she must have had her her bonfire set here. So she just used that feather and instantly came to it. Wait, where was the bonfire here? Ah, there it is. So, you go in there, you go in there, don't need you anymore, you in there, you in there. There we go. So we got a ladder, let's see where the ladder goes first. 
course I know there's a bunch of stuff in this area. Ladder goes to a zip line. Oh, it's a sneaky zip line as well. It's got a drop in the middle of it. This puts us here. Then you can just go across this bridge. There we go, that's Dragon Airy done. How easy was that? Nah, I'm kidding, I just wanted this bonfire. Hey, look who it is. My okay. So pretty. So yeah, this is what happened to Aldia after all of his experiments and stuff. He turned himself into this freakish monster. Now we can light the bonfire. Ta-da! Head back to Medulla, level up a bit, dump some items and then come back and punch some more stuff. So you're already stashed, level up time. There you go, both of those up to 45. Five more points in each and we'll have matched them out. So now we go back to Dragonary. But yeah, you can skip the entirety of Dragonary just by using those two zip lines. You use them, you got this ladder, you go along the zip line, you run across the bridge. There we go, Dragonary done. Now want to do it the interesting way you have all this exploration to do so first we've got that little ledge there which is back up here I believe so this way Drop down this little ledge. Twinkling die night. Oh, there's no way back. Finally, I've got this now. I could use this. I'm back to the bonfire we go. Right, so. We've got this bit. It's dead. So we follow this round and we've got a bridge. 
here we need a fragrant branch which I don't have one of I happen to have used them all bugger right where was the other app that we could get to so if we go up this bonfire bon right up we go Here, you're the bottom of a zip line. All right, we literally can't get anywhere else at the moment. Not until I can get rid of that statue, anyway. Oh well. Let's see if I can't get the drop off in the middle. See that pillar there in the middle with a little glowy cloud on it? It's possible to drop off this onto that pillar. Very hard to do. Oh well. Gets the sum of the way there. So we've got little twinkling guys who I'm not really bothered about at all. Got some items. Oh, we've got eggs. Dagron eggs. <gasps> no. bunch of items we can get to now. Seeing as I accidentally made that jump. We have Sleepy Drake here. We should leave him alone for now. These holes that head down. This is the bridge we were on. There he is. Tooth. Oh, it's that one. It's the weapon I used in Dark Souls 1. So we've got up here. Don't need you. Got some more eggs. Don't need to do anything with the eggs. So we'll go the down here. At least underneath where all the holes are. More little suicide dudes. Like this one. So yeah, this is the other side of the statue I can get rid of, so we're good. So what have we got here? We've got somebody broke an egg. It was that guy I've just punched. Yeah, poor eggs. Right. So that's where the holes fall. Oh, the, the bits that fall down were. So now we'll go out this way. Come to me, I'm not going to fight you on the bridge.
everywhere. She barely even tried to hit me. Oh well. So yeah, that's the bit I was trying to land on there. But I didn't. I dropped too early and hit the bridge instead, which is fine. goes up there. This bridge goes across there. Yeah, so we'll have a look where this one goes first. Oh, it's just back to the area with the sleepy dragon. Sleepy dragon. Where now we have this bridge with more explodey guys. Not you either. He wasn't happy of that. Uh, nothing here. Perhaps this bridge. More exploding guys. He just exploded on the spot. We got in here. Got another sleepy Drake. What's round this way? Explodey man. And a caster. <laughs> Petrified dragon bone. Nah, does this lead up to the sleepy one? Yeah, this leads up to the sleepy boy. Revenge. Ignore the little crystal lizard. I've got everything I want out of those. Uh, technically, Dave. Because they always count on you uh, not actually noticing the the ladder at the first first bonfire. I already knew it was there. Let's have a look around the dragon bit again. Yeah. So, what is our Drake friend hiding? Soul of a Brave Warrior. One more shiny lizards. This bit where it drops down, don't we? Right. Let's go around this side. I'm pretty sure going around this side drops me there as well. Dee 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 dee. Yeah, Dave. When you get first get to this area, you can use a zip line and a bridge and go straight to the end. So that's what I did. Grab the bonfire at the shrine and then came back here to explore. No explosion for you. 
No explosion for you. Fire X zone. We got more eggs. So yeah, I went and grabbed that bonfire and then just came back here. Ring of the Evil Eye plus one. It's actually a pretty decent ring. First time I played Dark Souls 1, I used Ring of the Evil Eye for almost the entire playthrough. So now we've got bridge. Hey look, it's Navlan. Pine resin. So you're at the bottom of this bit, right? Where's Navlan hiding? There you are. Same as last time. As I keep punching you, you can't cast. Boy. Now we go across this bridge. Um, this is a sit line. Oop. Zip line back to the start. And this takes us to the bridge at the end. Sorted, that's everything. Yeah, downside of being a caster. If somebody gets close enough, they can just lay into you and stop you being able to cast. That's why it's always good to have some melee as well. Right. And we're back here. then shall shall we here you can see big dude in armor Is that somebody cast them? and then you've got these guys in the dragon uniform who bow to you although he stops now Not a mimic. Let's see what we find in here. Bonfire ascetic. They like giving me those. They're only useful if you want to refight a boss early on. Paris Lockstone, what do you unlock? Where is the face? There. What do we have in here? Mask of Judgment, Robes of Judgment, Manchets. Oh. oh, it's this set. In case you want to be a creepy priest. Next bit. There you go. Yeah, he sort of was going to bow to us and then broke. There we have. Although you can see those ones over there bowing. You dealt with. So these guys just ignore you. But unless you actually attack them, they will just leave you alone. So what's up here? Up here we have a suspicious looking chest on its own. Oh, 
Oh, you're on a bad chest anyway. Print cling tight. Right, before I go any more around that bit, what well, was further around down here? Flare ahead. Illusion ahead. Yeah, you all lied. This was. Also progress, maybe? A big sword guy's over there. So we'll go back the other way. This big sword guy is going to be progress. But I want to see what secrets are hidden up here. This still heads up to Big Sword Guy. Got you guys. Got a bow. Oh, it was literally just that. Try jump. Oh, chest. Chest ahead. Short weapon. What do we get from this then? We have Drake Keeper's great action. Great keeper's great shield. It's gonna be the one they're using, isn't it? Maybe. No. Check that out. And then you got a great shield as well. With the tower shield ability. Right. So where we go then? Let's go and fight the big sword man. Yeah, you. Two and then a swipe. And this guy's way faster than he should be. We saw the speed that he attacked then. We go. We got here. Liar ahead. Hidden path. You're all liars. Liar ahead. Opens the door. There. Horse ahead. Where's it with all these people and their horses? These are dragon men's. Are you... You're a spirit that's going to fight me. You are. Let's get up here then. There's like a nice dueling area. Beat the champion. Don't get anything for it though, do I? Rubbish. So you better just let me pass. Yep, 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 all good. And we go to meet this guy. And I'm not going to do what Alex did and run up and just punch him straight away. All dragons can talk. They don't do this weird shit. He gives us the Ashen Mist Heart. Now this. 
a key item, I believe. There you go. Manifest Ash of Ashen Mist, received from the Ancient Dragon. The magic of the Ancient Dragon allows one to delve in the memories of the Withered. But you can go into memories with that. And now he doesn't want to say anything, so... Now to do something really dumb. Hi Alex. Come on you. Oh, His breath isn't going to outright kill me, as long as I've got at least a bit of health. Do a breath attack this way. Oh, we want to. Drag on. Dragon. Punching it in the tall to kill. Right, that animation broke then. 
that shouldn't have hit me. I need to go take off, so I'm run away. Let's pour. Put Bart punching a dragon. He's doing it again. Oh no, that was just a jump. Take off again. Hmm. Right, do your forward breath. Good boy. Yeah, it's cause if I'm far away from his breath, when he does it, it'll only hit me for one tick. But if I'm too close, it'll tick twice and that'll kill me. So I need to make sure I'm always far enough away, which I managed to do up until that final breath attack. <laughs> so these guys are still leaving me alone for now. Yeah. Right, let's go for round two. Um... I'm not going to be using either of those. I'm not going to be using you. Let's go. to spot him actually popping up. Oh no, I'm on partial stamina so he's going to catch me at least once. Let's do it again. have to make sure I'm like I've got enough stamina to just leg it
offers me shields. I'm sure I've got one. There. This shield, if you notice on the right hand side, has 100% fire reduction. As long as it doesn't fuck up my roll or anything, which it doesn't really. I can, uh. wait for the fire attack and then just go off block. Or do the big two handed block. Try blocking the fire. Ignore big mace man. Time to fight super fast sword man. Yeah, like, he had to turn around a bit to actually get to his spot. Oh well. It's like, I could swap out my pyromancy. Just a veil of inflamed sway that I could have flash sweat on as well to help reduce the fire damage, but we'll see how this shield goes first. Shield is 100% fire block, so. And then. Oh, he just jumped. Oh well. And the shield didn't work at all. Because he hit me from behind. So I'll bugger the shield. I'll have to angle it just right each time, otherwise it's not going to work. So, um, we will put flash sweat on one. Just as a little helper, but we'll, we'll do what we did last time. Which is just try and stick to his back legs. Thank you for so again by the time I get to the top. Time is it? Yeah, so I'll go till about half past. If not, we will start next stream trying to kill these dude. It's 
go. Ignore this one. to get back to human form. Top up my health, cast flash sweat, then we'll go in. And try and stick to his back legs as much as we can. Resist and I'm back to punching. Music in these games is always great. No, 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 no. Let's do it again. Do a breath attack or something.
are you doing? Oh, breath attack, nice to come again. Right, this time you're doing a forward breath attack. Come on. Do it. attack is what we want. Don't go. Got ya! And look! Not a dragon. Gives you a soul of a giant. Not a dragon. So, um... He did give us a petrified dragon bone. So there was dragon bits attached to him, but the actual soul he gives you is soul of a giant. The soul of a giant who came to conquer Dranglaic. Will the giant's resentment for the king be pacified in death or only emboldened? Can be used to acquire souls only. So yeah, we won't be using that to acquire souls. <laughs> First try. Now we go back to Medulla. We have the Ashen Mist Heart. Which means, we'll have a look at upgrades. Because what we'll be doing after this, the plan is we will do the memories using the Ashen Mist Heart. Then we will do the DLC. Then we will do the end boss stuff. get a couple of levels off that, we got 125,000 souls. There we go. 48. How much do we need for another level? Um, another 10k. I might have something I can burn for that. Just enough. Strength and dex at 48 each. Sorted. So. That works. Oh no, it was attuned spells I wanted. My flame is swathed back. Thank you. Right. So, let's go and speak to our map maker friend. Oh yeah, we'll see if Moglin's getting more fancy armor selling. You need armor? Go ahead. See what I'm offering. See. 
Oh, he does. He's selling Velstat stuff. And he's selling the Looking Glass stuff. Cool. Are you sure? Right, let's go see what the map maker says. And then... Where else can we go after that? Even more flames have appeared. I don't know what causes it. But there is something greatly... It seems to fulfill something very pre... Something... Right, he's just saying the same as last time. So, what I do have in my inventory is this. Invade the world of a traitor. So we're going to go and do that. Because that shouldn't take much longer than five minutes. I'm fairly confident I should just be able to beat them down. So, to reach them was... Is it this way? Yeah, it is. So remember this lady who sells miracles and stuff? Yeah, she's a You've traitor. you quite a journey, I can see. You must have a glorious number of souls by now. What a wonderful feeling that must be. <laughs> so yeah, she's a scam artist. And we're going to beat no shit out of her. The gods frown upon or try to at least. Bitch. Oh, so she's got decent bit of health, but she has the same problem that all other casters do. Really? 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 One button kill. So yeah, Rotunda Lockstone, she was scamming us. To turn this thing round you don't need any special skill or anything. You just need a lockstone to put in there. So she's dead now and we have all of her stuff. Ta-da! So she dropped Idol's Chime, Sacred Chime of Lysia of Lindelt, a catalyst for miracles and hexes. In any town there'll be a few folk with unusual urges. They either endeavour to resist those urges or to act upon them out of the view of others. The world is not so welcoming they may bear their souls true. And then we got her gear. Hod born by when a miracle casting cleric grants sight increase to spell chooses belong to Lysia. Lindelt is founded upon stringent commandments. Its inhabitants often travel to distant lands for ascetic training, but more than a few of these trainees liberate themselves from Lindelt's teaching in the process. Um, while it's true Lysia de dedicated herself to miracles, it's rare for anyone to pass through life without trouble. <laughs> so yeah. Lucia was a scam artist. And now we have her stuff. So, that's her dealt with in one of the laziest fights possible. <gasps> Sit looking Pokeball. Send us a picture of it on Discord or Summit Dave or on Messenger. Let's have a look. But for now. I shall be finishing. So we're in the home stretch now. We've literally got the memories to go into. 
we've got DLC to do and then the final boss and then we are good so shall see you all next time and we'll have a look for somebody to raid shall we So let's see who's online. Oh, I realised why the closed captions were all weird as well. It's because it was using the wrong microphone. It was trying to use the microphone on my webcam and barely picking stuff up. So closed captions will now be much better. Uh, who is online? Greg's doing Subnautica. Ash is Mario Kart. We're gonna say hello to Chambo, shall we? He's doing. He's been doing more speedruns lately. I've been watching a bunch of them. And he's doing a crazy one at the moment. Like crazier than the other ones he's been doing. So we'll all go say hello to Chambo. What? I will see you all next time, um, whenever that'll be. I'll post on the Discord or something when I work out when I can, uh, can stream next. So it will probably be Tuesday next week, because I don't think I'm working late then. Anyway, thank you for watching everybody, and bye bye